Hello, welcome to EverydayHDR.com. My name is Blake Rudis, and today I want to show you how you can make a window effect in a photograph. I did this in one of my uh, concerts a while back, I think it was concert six or seven, um, where I took this uh, compass and made it appear as if there was an image in it with a piece of glass over top of it. And you can do something very similar if you want to make your photograph appear as if you're looking out a window. So I'm going to go ahead and take this picture of my favorite coast. This is the Bixby Canyon Bridge out there in uh, California, out by Big Sur. Man, I miss this place a lot. But I'm going to make it look as if we're looking at this through a porthole window. So let me go ahead and load that picture. So I've got the picture loaded. Uh, this is an old nasty porthole. Well, I kind of like how this looks though. So we're going to with the move tool we're going to select the background of this and move it right on top of our other image by holding shift which will place the image directly in the center now you should be looking at this uh, massive um, I don't know bubbly piece of metal here oxidized piece of metal we're going to go ahead and grab our marquee tool and go to the elliptical marquee now with the shift key being held down go ahead and start up in the top somewhere and just drag that down we want to make a porthole window it's going to be about the size of the middle of our photograph we want to off center it just a little bit to the left here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a layer mask on this and now you're thinking well it looks like the reverse of a porthole window that's okay we made a mask of the selection so what was selected became uh, the area that we wanted to keep. If we want to change that, we can just click on the mask and press Control I for invert. Now, now that we've inverted this, we're going to want to do one more thing. We're going to make another layer and fill this with white by pressing Shift F5 and go to white. Now, if Shift F5 doesn't work, you can go to edit or go to uh, edit, yeah, and then go to fill and then fill it with white. Now I'm going to hold the Alt key and click on that mask that was uh, made for the porthole window and move it up, which is going to place that mask on top of our white layer. Now again, we're reversed here, so we're going to go on and click on that white layer and press Control I. So our our white layer is kind of covering this up. This is going to turn into like our our glare effect that's going to be on our window. So let's go ahead and reduce the opacity on this um, to about 50 and then also reduce the fill to about 50 as well. Okay, so let's get into our window effect. It doesn't quite look like a window just yet. Just double click on your layer thumbnail to get into the layer styles. We're gonna go to bevel and emboss. We're gonna make the porthole window have an inner bevel. Make the depth, um, let's see here, let's play around with this. That's pretty much what I do is just play to get this right. Okay, there we go. We want our size to be somewhere around like, uh, let's just go with like 50 pixels. 50, 50 is a good round number. And let's change the depth down a little bit. Let's, let's bring that down to about um, 50, probably 50 works too. Good, nice round number. Now with the softness, you can go and drag the softness up to take the edge off of that window a little bit. You see, we're already starting to get kind of like a, a wrapped edge on our window that's going to lead into our other window area. Now, down here in these areas, the shading areas, you can do a lot of stuff with this. You go into the gloss con uh, contour, and you can change the contour of how that gloss is being affected. I really like this gloss con contour that we have here. Um, it's a little too strong right now, but that's not that big of a deal. We can go ahead and change the opacity to that down to somewhere around 30. And then all, and that's for that's for the highlights. We just re reduce the highlight opacity. So you, when we move this up and down, you can see the highlights that are poking through here. So we're going to bring that back down to 30. We also want to reduce our shadows a little bit. So let's take that down to 30 as well. So now we've got a pretty good porthole here. Uh, let's see what we can do with our glare effect that we have here, because we want this to look like a window. So a window that's been inlaid inside of a porthole. So we can double click on that too, go right into the layer styles and go into bevel and emboss. And let's go ahead and make this a pillow emboss. You can play with all the different types of embossing if you'd like. And we're gonna bring this pillow emboss pretty high. Um, we're, we're gonna bring it up to around, uh, let's say 460, that works. The size, we can probably stay around where it is. Let's go with about five. 
and let's go ahead and soften that by about 15 or so. Yeah, let's keep it around 13. That works. With the, uh, we're going to leave the gloss contour of this pretty much the same. Let's take a look at our preview. You can un uncheck the preview button. It doesn't look like we did a whole lot as we we're moving those sliders, but we really did. We kind of created a shadow along this edge right here. It looks pretty nice. So go ahead and press OK. So that looks that looks pretty good. Now, if we want to really kind of heighten this up a little bit, we can take our brush tool and mask out areas that are going to be uh, where uh, we don't want the uh, the glare to kind of shine through. So, and if you want to see what your mask is doing there, you can press the um, the forward slash key, which is right above the return key on a PC. So let's see what we've got here. That looks all right, but we can take this up another notch too. So let's go ahead and select your background layer, go to select and go to color range. Now select all of the highlights in this image, press OK. This is gonna make every one of the highlights kind of appear right here. We can go ahead and create a new layer above this one and Shift F5, fill it with white. Now it's gonna look kind of ugly and it's gonna look ugly for a reason. We wanna go up to our properties of uh, well, let's go ahead and reduce um, the opacity on this by about 50, and let's also throw a Gaussian blur on it. So go to filter, go to blur, and go to Gaussian blur. So that's going to kind of help us give another glare. If it's too strong of a glare, you can always reduce the fill on it a little bit too. But that's going to help us give a glare too. Now, another thing we can do to kind of tunnel vision this a little bit is duplicate our uh, original uh, metal pot metal uh, layer and go to uh, filter and go to lens correction and we can give this a vignette to kind of add to that tunnel vision effect all right so you see the edges are kind of blacked out now and then what you can do is if you have a, a, a file laying around of water this is pretty cool. You can move this water file again, move it over by pressing and holding the shift key while moving it. And let's get it to the size of our porthole here by pressing control T and then moving it down. And we can just drag this out, it doesn't have to be perfect. Press OK. Now again, to grab this mask, press the alt key while clicking on the mask and move it up. Now we're reversed again, not a big deal, just press control I to invert it. And the same thing here, we can change this to something like soft light, um, which doesn't really work too well for us. Luminosity, try to change the blend modes a little bit. If that doesn't work, just go ahead and reduce the opacity on it really low. And again, with this, we can also do a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. With this, to kind of blur out those, those uh, and I am not blurring the photo, I'm blurring the mask. It helps if I clicked on the photo. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian Blur. And we can blur the uh, water droplets out to make it look as if water has splashed on our porthole window. All right, so that's the basics on making a, a quasi window here in, in Photoshop. It looks looks decent. I mean, it's not the, the greatest in the world, but you can see how the application for this can help. Like you saw in that, uh, that concert image I did here. Um, which it's not here anymore, I must have erased it, but you can add an element of something interesting into just about any photo by putting something like this in here, maybe adding a little bit of a, heightening up a, a glare on a window or something like that, you can do that too. All right, I'm Blake Rudis, this is Everyday HDR. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, if you like it, you can go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel because I'm here pretty much every Friday helping you out. All right, take care.